Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna learn a full finger style arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of heartbeats. So I'm gonna play it for you first so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so we need to know a couple of things before we start learning this. The first thing to know is that two strings are detuned. The G string, the third string, is tuned down a half step to F sharp, and the sixth string is tuned a whole step down from E to D. So you have D, A, D, F sharp, B, and E. And we're not gonna use the first and second strings at all, so we have this, okay, as our basic position. So, Make sure this is what your guitar sounds like. What a beautiful sound, isn't it? Okay. So this is the tuning: D, A, D, F sharp, and the B and E strings stay on B and E. Um, the second thing you need to know is that there's a simple way to learn this and a complicated way, and the complicated way is unnecessary because there's a simple way. The simple way is to uh, get hold on the picking pattern first. And the picking pattern is this. Okay, if it sounds familiar, it's because it's the same picking pattern, basically the same picking pattern of Dust in the Wind and a million other folk songs. Okay. And uh, to demonstrate, I put five on the um, on the fifth string, on the A string. You can you can do this, but if you put five on the fifth string, you get the you get closer to the sound of the song itself. So this is the picking pattern, and it's the sixth string, okay? And then it's the fifth string, and then the fourth. So it's. Then you have six, three, five, four. Okay? So it's thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger. Okay, again, six, five, four, six, three, five, four. This is the picking pattern. If you take the time to get used to it first, then everything becomes uh, semi-automatic. So, get 
used to this first before you start going over the tab because if you follow the tab verbatim note by note it's really really confusing and if you practice it slowly it's even more confusing because this is a sort of picking pattern that really doesn't sound good when it's played really slow you need to play it up to speed so learning the picking pattern will help you learn it faster so my advice is don't follow the tab note by note just try to see where the the, the tiny licks fit into the picking pattern and that's how i'm going to teach you in this lesson. That's the way I'm going to show you how to play this. So um, the intro goes like this. Right? This is the beginning. So it's the sixth string and then a hammer on from four to five on the fifth. Then the open fourth, the picking pattern, and then the sixth and then three on the third. So so you get this shape, three and five on strings, three and five. So, and then, okay, it's four, hammer on to five on the fifth string, and then you stay like this and play the rest of the picking pattern with three and five on three and five. So basically all you need to know is that there's a hammer on, you continue the picking pattern, then the hammer on again, and you continue the pattern. Now, when you just start out, it might sound as if I'm cutting corners, but trust me, this is the easier way. Following the tab note by note with this picking pattern in this particular composition is actually the longer way to do this. So again, take the time to get used to the pattern. So. finish the pattern. You just put the hammer on where it's supposed to be in the bar and the rest is what your fingers are supposed to be used to. Then the open A string and then you start again. And then the open A string again, the end of the first phrase, and then you change a chord to two and four on strings five and four. And this time you have no sixth string in the pattern, so instead of the sixth string, you play the fifth string. So basically, it becomes this. Okay? Yep, there's a. There's a unison here. Okay, it's the open uh, third string with four on the fourth, it's the same note. So. So it's the same pattern, but without the sixth string. The fifth string replaces the sixth string, so you get a lot of B notes. I'll, I'll break it down for you again, just so you can get used to the idea. Okay, it's five, five, four, five, three, five, four. And then you do this. Okay, it's the same picking pattern, but you hammer on zero to two on the fifth string first. So, and you continue. So hammer on and then five, four, five, three. Starting to get it. If not, just go back to the beginning of the video and go over it again, okay? It takes a little bit of time to get used to the pattern, but once you do, everything becomes clearer, I promise. So, and then, uh, sorry, four on the sixth string, and then you put five and five on the uh, sixth and fifth strings. And you play the pattern, so. And then you hammer on four to five again on the fifth string, so... And you continue the pattern, okay? You start with the hammer on, and you continue the pattern. <clears throat> Got it? So... Okay? And then the open A string again, leading you back to the first chord shape, the three and five and three and five. So once again, and then four on the sixth, five and five, pattern, hammer on on the fifth string from four to five, and you continue the pattern, and then the open A string, getting you back to the first shape, so. Mm. Okay, you end with the open A string. 
So that's the intro. Now you better get used to this before moving on because we're gonna use the same shapes. Okay, so I'll play it slowly, even though slowing it down confuses everything, but I'll slow down the intro just so you can get used to the pattern. string if you play the third string instead of the fourth or the fourth the fourth instead of the third it doesn't really matter as long as you have the right bass notes on because every second note is the bass note so the bass notes are what's important here all right so the verse um, the verse incorporates the melody of the song into the riff so the melody is this okay pretty simple the open third string three times, then three, then five, five slide to seven on the fifth string. Right? And that requires us to put five on the fifth string to be our alternate bass note. And you start the open third string with the hammer on. Right? That's where it appears uh, first. And then you just keep playing the bass notes with the open uh, third string, creating the melody. You don't have to do anything. So, see? Just play bass, third string, bass, third string. And that's why I wanted you to get used to the pattern first. So, right? And the only thing you have to remember is that you play the open third string with the hammer on. string then right, five uh, five slide to seven on the fifth string and then the open a because it's in the original riff so um, right, this is the whole thing if you practice the pattern this should come as no challenge to you because it's only third string then three on the third string with the sixth string because that's the melody and then a solo without anything else just five five slide to seven on the fifth string open a string i told you if you follow it note by note um according to the tab it gets a little confusing because it's too many notes <clears throat> but if you uh think about it in a pattern kind of way then all you need to do is to know where to put the notes inside the pattern. And yeah, I'm going to repeat that until you get it, because I know it's a difficult concept at first. Right? And then do it again. And then the second, uh, the second uh, phrase is actually easier. same two and four uh, okay go it's the same um, two and four on uh, five and four okay the B5 uh, lick and then you just end it with two two zero on the D string okay and you can play the B bass again with it okay that's it no fancy movements nothing not even slide Same beginning, four, five on the sixth string, and then five and five on six and five, same pattern. Okay? And then okay, seven, seven, five, zero on the fifth string, because this is the melody, and then the open A that brings you back to. I really hope you're starting to get how the pattern influences everything. Uh, so again, right? this is the verse and you repeat this, so let's play it again. Try to pay attention to the pattern, not the whole thing as a sequence of independent notes. Okay. 2 to 0 on 
the fourth. Okay, and then the pattern, and then just seven, seven, five. Then A, leading you back to the beginning. of the, the punchline um, actually starts the same way as the verse and then it's slide to seven on the fifth string and you have seven seven five on the fifth string but with the open third string in between that's the only difference That's the first line, you don't repeat it. I just played it twice to show you how it sounds. So. Okay. It's uh, the same as the intro, okay. but with the open third string. Okay. And then three on the third string, and then seven on the uh, fifth string and you can slide into it. The lean on, so... I told you, when you slow it down, it doesn't sound anything like the original, so... Right? That's the best I can do to teach you. Um, again, it's all in the pattern, so... Um... the same uh, second chord as the verse okay with two two zero on the fourth and then the same uh, first uh, phrase as the verse and the intro and then three on the third string and the open fourth so it's okay you can stop or you can keep playing playing the pattern or create a drama by uh, create a dramatic moment by having the harmony stop okay and then you go back to um, the intro and then another verse and another punchline so the punchline was play the intro again, then the uh, verse, then the punchline again. Then you have the bridge. Now the bridge is a little bit different, but somewhat easier. Um, it's this. the open um, fourth string and you put seven 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 on string six five four okay and you play strings four and six and then you let go of the seven on the fourth and you just play the pattern and then you put two and five on strings four and six and you keep playing the pattern no fifth string here then again, and then you have right. So you're still on two and five, and you play three zero three zero on the third string. Okay, you can open the fourth, and then two on the fourth, open third. Wait a moment, keep playing the pattern, and then three zero, one pull off to zero on the third, then you put two on the fifth string, and you keep playing the pattern with strings five, four, three. So again. leading 
taking you back to the original riff. And when you want to finish, you play string six, five, four, and three on the third. And um, you can just finish by playing the um, first phrase of the intro. Before you go practice this, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons, check the playlists, everything is arranged uh, by level and difficulty. And uh, go download the tab, the link is below in the description for free, everything is for free here on Lick and Riff, including the lessons of course. Uh, and yet, if you want to give something back, there's a large blue donation button right above.